Zebra Herd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading back into the game with another DLC. Of course, last episode, we finished off the final level for uh, the, the mountain one that I'm forgetting the name of, but we have our last island in the island realms right over here. This DLC will be the Hidden Depths. So we're going under the water this time. Turn the tide. Dive into your next adventure with the new Minecraft Dungeons Hidden Depths DLC with three new missions, battling new mobs, all new artifacts and gear. Seems like a lot of fun. I'm, we had a lot of fun with the rest of them, so I can't imagine this one will be any less. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so here we are with it unlocked, the Hidden Depths DLC. We have the first level here, which is Coral Rise. So let's take a look at the story before. I always end up forgetting these, so I wanna make sure I check it out. Danger in the Corals. Home the colorful corals and schools of playful tropical fish, Coral Rise is full of life and breathtaking sights. It would be easy to be lulled into a false sense of security by the serene beauty, but the orb's corruption brews beneath the sandy surface. Hordes of drowned and sunken skeletons lurk in the depths and wait for the currents to bring them fresh foes. So we're going under the water here. Hopefully we have some kind of a oxygen tank or something. I'm gonna be doing the highest difficulty because I guess we can handle it. Actually, it's actually 33. So it does make me think, what if I raise the difficulty a little bit? We could even handle this, that's awesome. We'll do uh, adventure three on adventure difficulty, pretty cool. There is a bunch of stuff to unlock, which I'm really looking forward to. Hopefully we grab some of that in today's episode. Let's get started with Coral Rise. It already looks really cool from the loading screen, so I'm sure it's just gonna get even better. Somewhere far beneath the waves, a shard of the orb of dominance festers. Among the brilliant corals and bubbling vents, corruption seeps from a dark trench and threatens to suffocate all life. It will take a hero indeed to brave the crushing depths and vanquish the terror that lurks beneath. I guess that might be us, hopefully. Whoa, so what is this? I guess I'm running out of air whenever I'm not near the bubbles. So that's a whole new mechanic we'll have to watch out for, is managing our air. So definitely let's be quick when we're moving from place to place so we don't run out of oxygen. Is that one to be good? But luckily, you know, we have a lot of good gear right now and hopefully as we move forward, our gear will get even better. We do have some upgrading. What's interesting is seeing how the arrows, whoa, and what is this? It's like a slime. I sort of not. There's a lot of enemies here I'm actually not too familiar with because I just simply haven't played Minecraft in the last couple of years too much, so I haven't seen too many of these updates, which of course I'm working to change soon, but for right now let's focus on this. Oh, it even shows us on the map where those air bubbles are. Whoa, 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 hold on. Okay, I thought that would launch me. That didn't work. What do I do here, I wonder? Oh, I just have to wait a moment, gotcha. But the arrows will slow down. They really don't reach very far. So that's also another thing to keep in mind here. So the water affects this game very heavily. We will really have to keep different things in mind, but at the least, we could do some fire stuff, get some more potions. Oh my, these guys are not friendly. I'm trying my best to uh, stay away from them all. Okay, come on, oh, I'm actually almost down. Whoa, whoa, be careful. Jeez. So this is proving to not be very easy. Come on. Oh man, I need my potions. I'm going into more enemies, oh no! <laughs> okay, this is really tough so far. The arrows being a lot more tame, I suppose, is certainly an issue. But if I could just save my fire arrows for situations like this, it'd be great. Jeez, they already had me using my uh, my potion. Okay, I'm trying my best just to sneak up on them, but there are enemies from every direction at the moment. I guess the good thing, oh, I'm out of arrows now too. The good thing is gonna be, oh, some squids, that since this is higher difficulty, enemies will be giving higher experience and rewards. Oh man, uh, okay, I can destroy these. But geez, I might have to go and lower the difficulty if we die too many more times. I don't have any air also, and that's something you can be careful of. Beat up that guy. So we might really have to take our time around here if we want to end up 
leaving in one piece. Jeez. And their range is really tough. I can't even, oh no, I can get up there. Never mind. I'm already back to low health. So yeah, obviously, if we die here, I'll go and lower the difficulty. Or if we get a game over, whatever. All right, gotcha. It's these guys we need to be careful with because they have a lot of health. They seem to poison us. Their range attacks are hard to dodge. All sorts of trouble with them. Oh no. Oh, we do get a treasure chest, though. I guess we're getting rid of the squids or something or all the enemies. Happy to get it. Whoa! We get a coral bleed. That's new. Exciting. And some arrows, which are also exciting because I really need those. Ow. Okay, we're low on health again. So just trying to grab some of that. And we do have the arrows or the, the bow upgrade that does make enemies explode when we destroy them. So I'm trying to make the most of that. Okay, I need some extra breath. And I'm sort of trying to figure out their pattern for attacking, and I think we're slowly getting it figured out. Okay, there's nobody else over here. Man, this might take us a while to get through at this rate. Oh, there's a pot there. Get some extra emeralds. That'll be good to stock up on then, because, you know, the more emeralds we have, the better gear we can get. Oh, it's a little turtle. Oh, no, I'm sorry, turtle. Aw. Oh, even the chest will have air in it, so that's cool. Come on. It's just hard because we can't use range to our advantage in the same way that we would in other areas. Oh gosh, I need to get some extra. There you go. Arrows just simply won't work out that way. Oh, nice fish. Because they don't travel as far, which is sort of a big part of my current build is using arrows to my, my advantage in that way, so I will certainly have to rethink things as we move forward. Right now, it's what we have, so it's what we're gonna work with. But maybe over time, it can change things up. I love the electricity little roll, though, when I can actually land it. Okay, so yeah, if we destroy some of them, they'll explode and get rid of the rest of them near them, so that's good. It makes a huge chain effect, too. So we're trying to make the most of that. Yep, see that got some of them, but it doesn't do a bunch of damage is the problem. Jeez, those really hurt. Let's back up, get some extra arrows. Oh, the baby zombie, scary. So we know the way we're supposed to go. Oh my, oh my. Ah, oh, they got me. I, I also might not be playing super well. If so, I'm sorry. I am certainly trying my best. Okay, so I do see this fish here. I would like to save it for when we need it. Which may be sooner rather than later. Gotcha. And I gotcha. Oh, we got some turtle armor. That's new. I just love seeing the new step. Always exciting. Let's get you a little bit. Slime start breaking up. Whoa, watch it, mini zombie. Okay, there's another one. Yeah, I haven't done too much exploring under the water in Minecraft, since they've added a lot of that underwater stuff, and that's, like I said, something I hope to get back to soon is just more normal Minecraft stuff. It's been on the on the list for things to do for a long time. Okay, so we're supposed to be going down that way, so I'm definitely going to head over here first. These guys seem to be the worst, because they spawn in those little, what is that? Oh, it's a pupper fish. Okay, don't wanna walk into that, that'll hurt me. Oh, it's still hurting me, it's like a little poison area. Okay. But those guys spawn in tentacles that don't seem to be easy to deal with, so getting rid of them as soon as possible is always preferred. Okay, now I'm stuck down here, not good. I may have made a mistake, I'm trying to dodge stuff. So when they're all separated like this, this is when it gets really difficult. Ah. That, okay, this is my last chance. Game over the next time you die. That happens so quick. There are just arrows everywhere. See, their arrows also slow down, but I think they don't as much. I might be biased, though. But yeah, we'll lower it to Adventure 2 next time if we have to. Oh, there's even a thing here. I wonder if this is gonna lead to a secret level unlock. That'd be nice. Let's find out. Explore the reef and 
in depth. Do I have to, yeah, I have to dive across. So you don't really have too much of a roll as much as you have a forward dive. Gotta be careful of the, the lava. Oh no. Uh, oh no. We got enemies coming in. Slice away at all you guys. Gotcha. I think one of them dropped a potion, but it was down there, so I didn't get any of it. Oh no, no, wait, don't fall. Oh darn. That is really tough to maneuver. Where am I now? I guess I'm over here for some reason. There are so many enemies. Come on, jeez. And there's, once again, arrows coming in from every direction. That's sort of the big tough thing about this one, is you just have to be really good at dodging arrows. A new weapon, though. I think I get to keep my stuff even if I die, so something I would like to do. Come on, I almost have the potion. Just try to avoid them. Okay, they actually walk into the lava, which is silly, but good for us. See, none of those arrows reach. I need to be really careful about that. Oh, this hurts me. I thought that was giving me air. Where can I get some air around here? I gotta go over this way. I think that's the big thing with this one is that there isn't just a lot of places to get air from. So back over here. Got crossed. Got it. And gotcha. Cool. Hmm. I'm not seeing too many more enemies. A couple of them left to take out, but isn't too much. Just gonna dodge an attack. Yeah, our lightning was able to hit there. Oh, here's a big chest, but... This slime is sort of has a fish Texture to it, I, I guess it's supposed to fool us and think it's just some fish. The bubble bow. I definitely will be taking a look at everything. I guess I missed out the chest back there. Whoa, okay, wait, I thought I fell. I didn't fall, why? I rolled across. But yeah, there's a chest back here for me. I guess it worked out the potion of water breathing. That's nice, the trident and the turtle armor. So we'll definitely be taking a look at all this new gear at the end of our little adventure in today's episode, which might take us some time, but we'll get there. You're ready and jump across. I made it. Luckily, there's air bubbles everywhere now. A bit easier to keep up with everything. Let's take a look at the map real quick. There are 22 secrets to find? What? Usually there's like four or five at most. 22 of them? They gotta be more simple ones, right? So what is this about? This trident thing that I have. Whoa! What did I just do? Uh. I guess that's a pickup. Oh, it's like the TNT. Wow, okay. And that was what that little square was. I didn't know if there was anything extra. That was crazy. So next time, next time I see that opportunity. I don't see anything else going on in here, so I think we're good to leave. This was the bonus area after all. I don't think there's a secret level unlock or anything, not that I've seen. Because we're already down here. So I think we can leave it and go back. Oh no, here we go again. Okay, I made it, I made it, we're fine. So back to exploring the reef. Refill on air real quick. Trying to be as speedy as possible. But I guess we just have to follow the arrow. Yeah, this is the last DLC out of the original four that had released, but there were two more after this at released in its own sort of set. I think this was a part of the original battle pass. All right, I'm trying to be a bit more conservative with my fire arrows and stuff, because I feel like I'm just running out of that kind of stuff pretty often in general now. So you just really gotta make sure we're playing well. We wanna be okay and make it out the other side of this. But even then, I'm still taking some considerable damage. I mean, I was never a pro with this game to begin with, so the fact that I'm choosing some higher difficulties is probably gonna leave me struggling, so we might tone it down a little bit. Let's get the slime a little bit. Gotcha. 
and then you. It's fine. Still can't believe 22 secrets. There has to be something weird with that, right? Because that is a huge amount of secrets. There's another entry over there. Maybe there's just a lot of those in this. Oh, I need, oh, I didn't even realize I'm out of air. That is such a concept I gotta get used to, you know? So I'm supposed to be going down that way and exploring the reef, but instead, I'm going in here, where we have a whole new set of things to find. Can't quite get them from here. This is the unfortunate thing. I wanna stay in on this so I can get launched, but they're already firing at me by the time I get over here. Oh my gosh, wow! They just got rid of so much of my health so fast. So do I get to keep that stuff? I sure hope so. I'd be a little upset if I didn't. No, I got to keep it, awesome. So I'm still gonna see most of that stuff to look at later, I think. Um. I say that, but we're pretty full in our inventory, so maybe I will take a quick look at it now. Some of the new stuff we got. We got the Katana, whoa. And that is um, 49, so 174 to 256. So actually, quite higher than our Firebrand. Um, a blade fit for an ex for expert warriors and fighters. Its blade is crafted to inflict precision damage. That's pretty cool. You can see how it can upgrade what I currently have. Um, we also have Coral Bleed, which is one point below what I currently have. Not as much damage, blades are usually faster swiping kind of things. It yeah, has rapid slashes. The coral blade cuts through enemies with stinging accuracy. So it has more speed, but less power in area. Um, I think out of both of these, I would love to try the katana and to sort of see how it goes. Um, we, we could put some upgrade points in it too. So hmm, we have stunning, change of temporarily. Stun enemies, rampaging, and smiting. Didn't see undead. That could be good for this specific scenario. Um. Hmm. This is always fun. Rampage is always a really fun one, though. I think we'll go with Rampage. And then for this, we have Shockwave. The last attack in a combo launches a Shockwave, damaging enemies, critical hit, or Guard Strike. When you defeat a mob, you are given temporary shield that reduces damage by 50%. I think this would be good considering what's going on with this one. Let's try that out. So we have a really powerful katana now. Our character's looking pretty cool, but we're not quite done. We also have the bubble bow. Let's your troubles float away with the bubble bow, which seals your target in a bubble on a charge shot. I can consider this one, but I do like what I currently have quite a lot. And then our turtle armor. Uh, the turtle armor is inspired by the hardy and protective shell of the humble turtle, giving us a healing boost and damage reduction. Um, not really working with our arrows too much though. It does give us a bit more health but I think I'm fine with this. Yeah, so I think we'll keep with this setup and see if I can't get any farther. I will definitely do an easier difficulty. So we go back to Coral Rise. I will do instead Adventure 2, where the level requirement is just 39. And hopefully that'll make up for my own blunders. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. Oh, nice, so I got a level up there. So, so far this is going a whole lot better. There are still some times where I'm struggling a bit with health and stuff, but I've just been trying to avoid the arrows, which can be hard when they're coming in from every direction, of course. But save my potions for those times. Swing at them as much as I can. Oh boy. Oh man. And that is really something to get used to, is how far you go when you roll like that. But the katana is doing really good. Katana, katana, I'm not really entirely sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to make the most of everything here and make sure that I keep collecting stuff. I got the trident again. Okay, I really want to try this. Over here. Try the trident. And it should explode. That is so neat. I love it. See, I'm still trying to get back to where I was. Okay, so I'm not really sure. That's sort of the thing about this game is that each time you go into a level, it sort of gets randomly generated. I think we're about where I was before. By the way, we'll just sort of you know continue off here and see what happens. I did notice that this time there's only 16 secrets, so. We just didn't quite get anything that we got last time. But that's all right, because we, we were still able to keep everything that we found during that part. So I'm happy about that. Now with the enemies being a bit weak, we, we have these tridents sticking right out of us. That must not feel pleasant. But uh, I'm still feeling a little bit more encouraged to run up to them and hit them. The problem is when there's a bunch of enemies or these tougher guys, and they just hurt so much when you hit them, or when they hit you that it could just be a little bit overwhelming to get it all done. 
Okay, so this is where we were in when we got taken out. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Let's refill our water real quick. I have noticed that our rampage isn't giving us as much speed as it would previously in the game. All right, so that's good. Get a good restore on stuff. A bunch of baby zombies coming in. Okay, let's get the fire ready because that does some area of effect. Always good to pull that out when there's a bunch of enemies. But yeah, so far we're able to handle this better and that's nice. I also see this exit, I guess. Not sure what's up with that. Maybe I just can't go back in through the entrance. Wow, this area is huge though. So we'll have to wait and see. Might have to backtrack a little, but there is a lot going on. So far though, very impressed with the amount of uh, content that's here, for sure. Okay, so let's keep it going. But yeah, so far the katana's really fun to use. Very satisfying to slice and dice the enemies. And when I do get the rampage to move a little bit faster, we can just get to more of them sooner. Which I think is a huge perk because we're trying to go melee versus range to be able to maneuver around them. Being able to, oh gosh, you actually have one of the coral daggers or whatever it is. So yeah, we're just trying to be careful of all that, but being able to maneuver around the range attacks and get to them faster, close that gap is pretty big. So yeah, if I can sort of just kite around the melee enemies, get to the range ones first, I think that's the strategy for this area. But so far, this DLC is really well made. It seems like there's a lot of content here. This area, remember, this is a side area. Look at how huge this is. Okay, got it. And then I see you over there. Come on, we can get him. Wow, it just keeps going and going. This is something else, isn't it? Maybe this is why there's so many secrets in this level? Let's not take too much damage. I was trying to click away there, but it didn't quite let me. Hmm. I do also have to remember to do that little dodge move because that electricity will damage the enemies too. Oh gosh, let's get the map out of the screen so I can focus on this a bit more. Oh, I'm running out of air. I always forget about it. Uh, okay, quickly, quickly. Get this before I get taken out. All right, I'm back to being full. I was so confused for a moment, trying to figure out why I was losing health. The whole time it was just that I was running out of air. There it goes, so there's another one. I wonder, that'll be four out of 16 treasures and one out of 11 chests, which definitely doesn't make sense. I've definitely opened more than one chest, but I think there's a distinction. If the chest is found through a secret, it doesn't count as a normal chest. So I think we've only found one chest that's been simply just out for the taking, but wasn't registered as some kind of secret. So, so it feels a little counterproductive, because the secret rewards are chests, but they don't count as chests in, in the counter. But it's just good to know and figure out. So we can keep track of what exactly we're looking for. Okay, you're gonna fall off, which is good for us. Lost some health there, but we're gonna be fine. Already halfway to our next potion. Oh, that one has some coral growing out of its head there. That's interesting. The enemy design's also well detailed. I love it so much. It is just crazy how fleshed out all of the details are in this game. We, we go to so many different Minecraft related places and they add so much that I guess technically isn't in the original game at times. You see a lot of things in this game that aren't in the original Minecraft in a way that's really neat, and it really makes Minecraft feel like a universe more than it does just one game, if that makes any sense. Combine that with Minecraft Story Mode, and you just have this whole thing, and it's it's awesome. I had a lot of fun playing Minecraft Story Mode back when that was really exciting. Hopefully they'll make more one die, who knows? I would really just like more side games in general for Minecraft. Minecraft Dungeons was a great step, and so is Minecraft Story Mode, but hopefully there'll be more at some point. Okay, we got that done. I don't know where this one will launch me. I think just across the way. Yeah. So, we'll fill up our air and then move forward. Even though there is still an area down that way, I don't know which way is the quote unquote correct way to go. Hmm. 
Yeah, we'll just keep going this way for now. We'll see how it goes. But just every concept that's in the original Minecraft has been utilized to make this game a super interesting experience. And one I've, you know, only heard positive things about this game. I haven't really heard anybody say they don't like it, so that's always good to know. Let's get some of these enemies. I'm a little curious on where, oh, I didn't mean to use the potion there. Where does this one lead? Just straight over? That doesn't seem very useful. Why would you need that? Huh, not quite sure. But you know what I do need? I need some, oh yeah, <laughs> I had to try it there. Didn't realize. Oh, I got one of them with it though. I need some air. There's a couple more enemies. We are closing in on another level up sooner or later. I mean, I say that. We, we still have a lot more to go, but we are making progress. We're level 56 right now. That's pretty high, but it seems that there's more progress to make, so. Just gotta keep it going. Got an arrow bonus. I actually have a lot of arrows right now, so even though it's probably for the better that I keep the melee for most circumstances, if I have this many arrows, it is also quite easy to blast down some enemies with it, so why not do a bit of both? And I still have the fire arrows too, which can help just because it starts doing fire damage. What do you know? Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so I think you'll fall down the pit. No, you're actually stuck a little bit. Yeah, it knocks them back so much. I'll roll back over. Oh my, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Because now we're in trouble. If I can start some of these explosions, there you go. That was pretty big. So that's where the arrows can be very useful. This is causing enemies to explode and such. Let's get some air while we're here. And I can either go up or to the side. I think I'll go up for now. Even when things are as dangerous as they are here, there's always something so relaxing about underwater areas in games like this. It feels so mystical. Whole new world. And it is such a cool concept that, you know, they did that in Minecraft as well. There was a good while where there really wasn't much under the water for Minecraft, but then they had that whole expansion for it, and it was just a really fun experience from what I've heard. Like I said, I haven't played too much of it myself, but, oh, there was a dolphin. I didn't see that for a moment. It looks like it got blasted though, unfortunately. Are there dolphins in normal Minecraft? That's cool. I didn't even realize. Whoa, uh-oh, the walls are closing in. What are we about to face? A lot of enemies, I'm sure. So let's keep that katana swinging. What's cool about it is that, of course, it can hit multiple enemies at once. Trying to avoid the range attacks until I'm ready to get rid of them. Got it. That was pretty good. Oh, there's a zombie, I didn't even see you. Are there still more enemies around? There's some fish. Actually didn't need it yet, so I probably should have held on. I'm guessing there's still more enemies around that I might have missed. There's a skeleton over here. Ah, I see. This area is actually quite big. Usually the areas where enemies spawn in is a bit more confined, but not this time. Got it. And I got gotcha. you. And that's gonna be everything. So hopefully we get a chest for that or something. That'd be nice. Can I get up there? Makes it look like I can, but I, I don't think I can. Huh. That's odd. Either way, I think we're fine. Get our breath back. It doesn't look like that gave us any kind of... Any kind of chest or reward or anything. But I'm guessing we'll be rewarded pretty heavily for getting through this huge thing. I don't think we've ever had a side area this big before. It just keeps going and going. This DLC feels a lot more like a labyrinth. We are getting to the end, it seems. What is that button gonna do? Good question. I think it just spawned in more enemies. All right, well, here we go. There, whoa! Drowned Necromancer, oh my, I was not prepared for this. 
Let me refill on air, and then we're going to just go for you. Hit you with all the fire arrows. That did some good damage. Let's dodge away from that. Man, oh man. Come on. Uh, I could try to knock him off a little bit. I don't know if that's a good move. See ya! <laughs> wow, that works. What in the world? I gotta get rid of some of these range attackers, I think. Okay, I'm gonna use my potion there just because I was getting a little scarily low on health. I think I did get taken out once when I was making my way back here. Okay, ready? Hit you with a bunch of fire. I don't think I'll be able to hit you into the, the thing. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna slice and dice you and see how that works. Oh my. Get out of the way of that one now. And remember, we have a bunch of arrows that I really wanna make work for me. I'm trying to get a little closer, but that stuff hurts. Wow. Uh, Jeez, uh, get that fish for sure. There we go, that's gonna be some health back. Oh no, no, wait, 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 oh man. I was trying to get my breath, but they were just destroying me left and right. We're fine though, we're going back in. The enemy is still waiting for me, right over here. And I have my fire potion back, or my fire, my health potion. Come on, gotcha. And we got something for that, I think. I picked it up right away. Jeez, that was ridiculous, though. Maybe we didn't get anything? Hard to tell. Uh, so there is a thing to go through there, which I'll check out soon, but I wanna make sure you yeah, there's a chest waiting for us. I knew there'd be something, right? I really hope we don't end up having to go through this whole thing again, though. I'm going to be really careful, try to make sure I don't lose any more lives. There's actually several chests to get. Wow, nice rewards. Hmm, what's going on down this way? Their arrow bundle for us, I'll grab that. Arrow bundles give so much now. And what about on the other side? I'm sure there'll be new enemies at the least. Yep. A couple more waiting for us. And I think that's it. So let's see what's beyond this door. Aha, it did bring us back. So there was one alleyway I sort of missed. I don't think it's gonna have anything must have. It's probably just a little bit of it that I missed. I think we're gonna keep going for the sake of time. If this level's already proven to be quite long, I don't know how much more there is and if I could lower the risk of dying again and having to redo this level, that would be great. Because as you can see, there is still a lot around here to figure out. Now I did see that supplies chest, but I'm going to save it until we're a little lower on health. A little worse for wear, because I know that those usually drop, uh, oh gosh, uh, some bread, which can be used to restore some health pretty nicely. Just trying to dodge the enemies. Oh, I got the fish there too. That's always great. Any kind of food that we can grab so that we're not getting destroyed by everyone. Gotcha. I gotcha. Remember, range enemies first. So, find the gate buttons, ruined. There's one of them. Where is the other, I'm guessing, on the other side? I think we're gonna have the potion now. Gotcha. I don't know if I can get up from that way. It doesn't look like it. Oh, I could just go over. Oh, that's the door, okay. Here's the second button, which I'll get to now. Explore the ruin. I'd love to, but I got a couple other things still on our plate. Somehow we've only gotten four out of the 16 secrets. I feel like that has to be, there has to be something up with that. So many secrets in one level. Oh, well, I'm attacking them through the wall. I feel like I'm sort of cheating if I do that. Skeleton, bunch of baby zombies I can take out. I guess they're baby drowned, actually. There aren't really any zombies down here, or creepers, even. So this is four to 16, will this be a chest? Okay, well, let's focus on getting rid of the enemies first. It's always more of a challenge. 
So that did not count as a secret, of course. It was just a chest, because it was out in the open. But I did miss a chest back this way. Let's try to find that. Yeah, right here. There's six out of 11 for that, at least. So at least we're making progress with something, but cheese, isn't this crazy? Um. So let's go and get the supplies now, I think is our best move. Get the bread. We'll get that first, and then we'll get the bread. Got it. Okay, keep moving. Well, actually, there was one, I know, I know, <laughs> one little thing over here. And you never know, this could be a whole nother chest. Aha! These golden chests are always good because they give us some pretty big rewards. So, you know what? I don't regret being extra diligent. How do I? Alright, see this one enemy hiding in the corner? Oh, look at this little secret. That's cool. See, but does that even count? It doesn't even count as a secret. That's what's so bizarre to me. It's that there's so many secrets that don't count as secrets, and yet there's still so many more secrets. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, wow, there's a, not really a draft, I guess a current of water. Pushing us to the side, gotta be careful of that. Okay, I do already see the markings for the gate. I think we're about to be in big trouble as we explore the ruin. What's going on in here then? I love that when we just have a bunch of melee enemies running at us, because that's so much easier to handle. Okay, that's everything for this way. What is going on in here? I'll mess with that in a moment. Maybe I should explore some more first, or maybe I'll go for it. Let's see what this does. Whoa. Uh, I think we're about to have quite the battle. Just some basic enemy spawning in. I'll save that tropical fish. Oh, am I supposed to be in this radius? Well, that's all happening. I don't know. I got something. What is this? Uh, good question. Oh, is this keeping my air up? Yeah, I guess everything in here. Huh. Oh, I can put it down. It's a conduit. Okay, so I can just sort of carry it around and have air wherever I place it. That's so useful. I like it. And then use the slice as well. I wonder, do my arrows work normally? No, they don't, okay. Oh, uh, so I can't have both, but I can pick up this, toss that at you. Come on. I'm trying to do my best here, but this is already pretty painful. These drowned necromancer don't play around. I gotta get rid of the ranged guys first. Because if not, they're just gonna destroy me. All right, I have this fish over here I need to get. Good thing I saved that and kept in mind that I did. Oh gosh. Um, I don't have to worry too much about, wow. Uh, no, oh my gosh, they just do so much damage so quickly. Okay, so I still have one more left. But man, oh man, this game is not letting up with this. This DLC is really tough so far. Get rid of you first, but then you spawn in more. So difficult, and then by the time I'm done with that, you already have a whole new move you're dishing out. Jeez, I cannot move out of the way of that one. Okay, um, oh, use my potion now. I didn't really want to have to, but I had to. Come on, just keep getting him, keep slicing him. We got it, we got it. Wow, that was something else, wasn't it? Super duper difficult. And we're not quite done, of course, there are plenty more enemies heading over, but I am on my last chance here. I have no more lives left, so I'm trying to be extra super careful. There is still, still so much more to explore. Luckily, I've been doing good for most other circumstances. When it's just normal enemies to face off with. But it's crazy the difficulty jump, even when it says I should have the power level to handle this. It seems like I don't quite. Okay, I see you, I see you. Let me go over this way. Trying to slice all those guys away at once. Even then, they're packing a punch. 
Their range attacks are just so quick, hard to dodge. I'm definitely going to be going back to some easy, easier difficulties for next episode, or this episode, depending if I pass this or not. I need air right now. Um, okay, it's saying that there is some over here somewhere. I hope I can find it. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay, uh, I'm at, I'm, okay, I'm at air. Thank goodness. I might just wanna wait here. Can I get up this thing? I can't, okay. Wait here until my potion's available. I know that's sort of like a cheap move, but what else am I supposed to? This is just so ruthlessly difficult. Even when it said I, I should be able to handle it. I guess even still my setup just isn't quite good enough for it. Okay, so we're running over again. Need to keep in mind, there's not another air thing that's way up there. So if I can just try to storm through. What do I want to do with this big block? Anything? I guess not. Because these enemies are quite easy in terms of how much damage they take. Now the time I can there. One slice does them in. It's just hard to get to them. Got it. Got it. Okay, so I made it to the end of that whole ordeal. Got another chest for it, which is nice. Very nice. So, there's nothing I can do with that fancy block, then I guess we're good to go down the main way. Hopefully we're coming on the end, because if not, I don't know, this is a lot of pressure to not make any mistakes. I do see another extra fish though. That's a pretty nice to grab real quick and munch on. I guess I'll take the conduit free. Oh yeah, the, the trident. Ah, there you go. Now I got some extra speed. What did I do to get extra speed that time? I don't know. Yeah, I'm moving really fast right now. Okay, let's not be silly about this. Trying to focus on every parameter is really difficult when each shot can sort of be your last. Those smaller enemies are so easy to miss, and then I turn around and they're already nipping at me. Luckily holding this so I can't use my arrows, but I'm going real quick. That's nice. I feel like I'm suddenly going so much faster. I wonder if because we're underwater, typically, there's a limit on how fast we can go. But that limit, of course, is taking off. If I have this conduit on, something like that. There are so many enemies here. So far I have full health though, so I'm trying to keep it that way. And I do have a potion. Once again, if it's melee enemies, we can just sort of fight through it all day without really too much of an issue. Where it gets difficult is when all those ranged enemies start boarding in. So if I can even keep it simple by, we'll get some gauntlets. If we can keep it simple by just simply not using my speed boosts if I don't need to, and then using them when the ranged enemies appear so that I can dodge around them and show them what's what, that'd be perfect. Get another chest for that one. I think that would count as secrets, right? I'm at six out of 16, so I think so. So I can put this down, pick this up, just throw it in that direction, and hope it hits an enemy. You know, sometimes you, you just gotta be helpful. Okay, so far so good. Cross the precipice. I will certainly try. Hmm. We'll go down this way for now. Oh man. Oh, that was a good dodge. Oh, we get a, a rapid crossbow, which is what I think we currently have, just a unique version. And there's a whole alternative path here. This is, it never ends, it never ends. Don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm having a great time. This is a really cool DLC, but the, the pressure of not making any more mistakes, not getting taken out again, is definitely starting to weigh on me. Oh, is this actually, did I go the main path? I think so. Was there, there was some extra stuff. Oh no. The music has changed. Defeat the drowned. I will try, but come on, how many more are you gonna give me of these guys? Gotcha. If any of you could drop some fish, that'd be fantastic. I'm gonna use my speed to my advantage. I was trying to click on them there, but I was just clicking next to him. Oh yeah, I don't need to save me of the air. I don't know why I keep thinking I do. I'm going to use my potion. With the conduit, I really 
Don't worry about that. Oh, we we'll got the swiftness potion too. So if we do this, we're really moving quick. Is that everybody? Oh, that's worth. It's just so easy for them to blend in for me for some reason. Oh no, here we go again. So here's the scary part, is I haven't been able to get rid of one of these guys without getting damaged heavily. And I will try just to give them everything I have. And hope that it's enough. Because I try to do this, but eventually they start throwing out those shots and that's where things get really difficult. But I have over a thousand arrows, so we have you stuck in a corner and I'm gonna take full advantage. Oh my goodness. And now finally, we can enter the abyss. Oh, there's more? No, oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> okay, I thought that was the end of the level. Oh no, uh, what's gonna happen in the abyss? I'm so scared. Uh... Oh no, don't tell me it's another big guy. Something's shaking, so something's gonna happen, I'm sure. Look what there's, oh, there's a switch. Was there another switch somewhere else? Oh, here we go again with all this. I've made it so far. You can't do this to me again. Whoa. Um, ah, um, what? What is Elder Guardian? Um, what do I do about all this? The super strict, they do so much damage. Uh, okay, the fire's getting it done now. Jeez, what in the world? This is not very melee enemy friendly. No, 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 no. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Go, 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 go. What do I do about this? You gotta be kidding me. He's aiming at me, but luckily I'm hiding this time. Okay, I just need to wait. I, I I don't know how long I can afford to wait, but I do see a fish over there. Oh man. There's some stuff to get too. I just need to use my potion when I get the chance. What is all this though? Why is this so difficult? He's gonna go crazy on him. Do as much damage as I can. Um, and then he's gonna start attacking me again. But he's gonna go back at it. I think this might be faster. Oh, it's so faster. Just go full damage on him. He doesn't know what to do about it. See, now you know how I feel, fella. Okay, so I just gotta dodge up by moving pretty quick. Come on, that's it. Wow, we did it. I'm so proud of ourselves. Woo. And there we go. The bright reefs and dark trenches. A mysterious monument is shrouded in the darkness of the deepest depths. All right, well, there was a lot of anxiety for that one, but I'm glad we got through it. As you can see, we completed Coral Rise. Uh, we got down three times, but we did a whole bunch there. I didn't open all the chests. I really tried, but there was just so much going on. So what do we get as our final reward? A Satchel of Elixirs. The Satchel of Elixirs always contains the exact potions you need. Well, at least the potions it thinks you need, which is still pretty helpful. That could be good. So yeah, lots of stuff to figure out there. Let's take a look at everything we got today. So the Satchel of Elixirs, I guess we could try to just add out real quick. It gives us two potions, this time a shadow and a strength. That would be really nice for giving us health, but I don't think it would. Um, these typically give you other things. Um, but let's see, we also got the gauntlets. So gauntlets call back to an ancient style of hand-to-hand -hand combat. We got a couple of those, I think. So we could try that out real quick. It's just punching. That's what's silly about it. It's really just punching. Pretty cool though. That's as melee as it gets though, which can be a bit of a risk. Um, I'm really liking my katana still, so I might keep with that, but I'll, t I'll have to weigh in the other katanas. This one's 49. So these two are actually significantly below that, so maybe not worth considering as much. You know, this one is rare. Really haven't really seen the, the benefit of Rampaging too much. I guess it is just, I mean, 50%, it doesn't feel like I get that, but it might be the underwater situation, I'm not really sure. And then for arrows, once again, we get this bubble bow, which I haven't tried, I wanna try it real quick. What did I do? Uh, sure, whoops. Whoa. Gotcha. So it sends out that bubble shot. Do that and suspend them in a bubble. I just don't think that'll work very well for us because we need to be constantly on the move to dodge the 
enemies attacks. And finally, armor, we have the guards armor, which we've seen before. This is just a more powerful version. And we have the turtle armor, which I'm honestly starting to consider a bit, considering how we need that damage reduction and healing boost really badly right now. So I think it's time to say goodbye to the hunter's armor and see if we can get some turtle armor um, and just sort of, you know, make that work. Hmm. So, with that, because this is artifact cooldown and arrows per bundle for the guard's armor, which is nice, but I think we just need the extra health for right now. So we'll go with this. We'll see what we have. Cowardice will increase, well, while you're at full HP, you deal increased range of melee damage. And then Prospector, enemies you defeat have a higher chance of dropping emeralds. Gravity Pulse, a blast occurs Every five seconds, it pulls nearby enemies towards you, and then health synergy when activating any artifact. You gain a small amount of health. This is big, for sure, with how we have some low cooldown stuff. So I think we'll go for that one, but let's look at our other ones. We have it again, and then we also have lightning focus. The lightning damage you deal is increased, or frenzied while you are at least half health. Melee and range, and range attack speeds are increased. So we have a lot of options here when it comes to those kind of things, like life boost. Uh, every time we respawn, your maximum health increases. That's pretty big, but... I'm not exactly sure. We, we do have some over here. 52 seems a lot better. It doesn't have that one thing, though. Extra roll sounds like fun. What is this one? Beast boss? You're, you press steal more damage. There's a lot of options here, for sure. I think for right now, I could just keep with this one, or I could have, I could go with this one as well. I might do that. Uh, that one. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this one. I could always exchange some out, save some for the side. I think that I don't need the guard's armor too much. I just don't wanna spend too much more time on this. Um, I do wanna salvage this so that I could get these It'd be nice if I could remove these without having to salvage it, but I think there might be a shot that does that. Regardless, I just don't need it that badly. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. I want to do this one, the health synergy. Uh, and then frenzied, I think. Yeah, I think this is better. Because this is nice, but how often am I doing lightning damage now that I got that one perk gone, you know? So I think we'll keep with that. Looking good. I'll save these, I'll decide later. Let's go check out the shops. We have plenty of emeralds to do some spending, like the luxury merchant. What's he got for us? This glaive. Um, it looks okay, uh, but nothing here just quite yet. If we defeat some more powerful mobs, that'll happen. What about for you? Could try to buy some, just some random stuff. Ice wand, improved. Torment quiver. Scatter mines, and finally, yeah, we're only getting artifacts from here, Satchel of Elements, so I don't know how many of those are improved. I'll take a look between episodes. And then, oh, is there something up here? Oh yeah, with the blacksmith, our one weapon is improved, the, um, the bow. So, 47, harp crossbow, half musical instrument, half, yeah, we've already read this, but you get the idea. This one, I'm still trying to make progress, but I'm really happy to see that that's improved now. Um, I might do the same with this. It's a 48. Upgrade for 105. I'm not using it right now anyways, so might as well go for it and see what we get out of it. Um, so if I take a look at this bow, it's still not quite a high, as high as this, but 44 range damage, 90 times five. This can still be really nice during, oh gosh, certain circumstances. I'm not deciding on which one I wanna use for right now because this will be great for a lot of foes, but not for one-on-one. -on -one. But I could always do like a quick swap, you know? So maybe I'll keep both. Um, for right now, let's see if we made any progress in the Adventure Hub. Uh, we are currently level six. Yeah, rank six, so I guess there isn't. But if we keep making progress, we'll get there soon. Um, I hope. Okay, yeah, so I need to level up to unlock the emeralds here. Okay. So we have six, okay, hours for the weekly challenges. I thought that was for everything. I was like, I thought I had more time than that. It doesn't really tell you how much time you have left in this season. I don't know if there is, if that's how it works. Anyways, um, I think we'll leave it like that for now. 
I don't know if there was too much more I wanted to do. Emerald gear and the uh, ocelot armor. Hmm. I don't think so. I think that's where we'll wrap it up. I had a lot of fun there with Coral Rise. Next episode, we'll do Abyssal Monument. Hopefully, that one will be a little bit easier. Yeah, I think I'll go back to uh, the other difficulty. Uh, <laughs> the default. Yeah, that's where we can handle things. It's interesting, the power jump. I'm too, way too powerful for this one, but way too weak for the lowest one in Adventure. So, I don't know what's going on with the uh, the balancing of the game in that way, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.